That's my 24 hours in Miami. It's blooming y'all, welcome back. I want to say that I'm spending 24 hours in Miami right now. We're at the airport right now. And the thing about like the crazy thing is until I actually started going from place to place, I never realized how like busy Atlanta airport is. Like until I started going to other places and realized like, bro, this airport is nothing like the one at home. So I was like, bro, this junk is actually different, different. So heading here now. And I said all that to say that this is the most packed place I didn't seen at 4 a.m. Plus I passed by like two clubs and it was also packed. So I don't know if it's just a lot of people or just a lot of people flying places and clubbing at 4 a.m. Anyways, hopefully, I don't know if I wanna get something inside of there, which, cause I'm not hungry. I don't even know how somebody could be hungry at 4 a.m. But I wanna see, I really, I feel like I just wanna go just to go see the beach. Like if I don't do nothing, well, of course I gotta get some food. So that's one thing, but I feel like I can't go here without going to see the beach, so. I'll get to see y'all when we finally get past TSA because I know you're gonna be yelling at me. So I'll talk to y'all later. First time seeing that. Um, and yeah, that was just really cool. It's just the only thing I can really talk about right now. So, first place I want to go to is Snappers. The Western tried to take us to like McDonald's or something. But when you get picked up, once you get picked up, then i will head to the hotel. But start, I don't even know. I, wish, I hope I could have like, a little timer on there telling you what hour we are on. But it really is going to be like no more than 24 hours here and then like we're leaving. So, gotta make the best of it. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. And make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And probably get my first meal. Also, before I want to leave, I want to talk about how while I'm here, I thought I'd tell y'all about air airplanes, bro. Because honestly, I don't think I've been on one airplane and then not feel like the people, like it was just like a heated argument. Every plane I get on, like I don't know if I could work in an airport because like I would enjoy the free flights, but every time I get on, it's like somebody got a problem with something or somebody trying to be mean to somebody, like it's crazy. Then on top of that, they gave us like four announcements to say to pick up your trash. Bro, somebody left a half drinking coffee and a freaking donut on the ground and it got kicked over and i was just like bro I, that would piss me off anyways that's what i wanted to talk about i pick back up later that's all i'm just gonna say
Her Airbnb is like right there. Finally made it to the beach. <sighs> it's been a long way coming, cause bro, I swear that walk from the parking lot to the sand to the water is the longest walk ever. It's like you walking on literal hot coals. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever be able to do it, but that's why you always got to keep your chunk close. All right, heading out now though. Tonight's an experience. Like I haven't had one. Bad time at the beach this year. It's like my eyes burn, nose burn, but I think it just some way going to the beach. So I just take it all in. And here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna do I don't even care at this point. But I'm switching shoes. And fun fact, I have some Air Force Ones. But I got these. Oh, wait, hold up. Y'all look at this. All right. But I have these pants. Not pants. I have these shoes. If I can stop moving. I got these shoes. They're called Gore-Tex. They're the most amazing shoes ever because... And everybody... Mainly Jaden, she always saying like, bro, you always talking about them, but I don't care. These are the most amazing shoes because they're waterproof and they're marketed like you can just go anywhere with them. And truth be told, I didn't been there almost everywhere in them and they still don't look like no beaters. Like, I'm, no, I'm not even gonna say that. I was gonna say, I'll take these over the all white Air Force ones, but it's just a time and place type thing. I'm not gonna lie though, every time I come to the beach, I cringe because I just don't feel like my phone or my watch is supposed to be there. Like, I feel like I'm just doing it so wrong, which I feel like, I know I am, but you really don't be mad at me. Huh? I got him? Yeah. He said you got enough pictures. I took more pictures of all the other Stay right here. Man, vlogging. Wait, 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 you could have been at Boris. Oh, you're crazy this whole time. You were sitting right there making a that face and putting all my pictures. Huh? You were sitting there making that face and putting all my pictures. You went away? Hey, all your pictures. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hopefully, y'all not getting blocked by this lobster truck. I don't even like lobster. Uh, steak is good though. Hey, man, the mashed potatoes are great. Honestly, the views are really nice. Why is this fat out here? You know, we're in the news when I offered him the hot sake and he took one shot. He's like, it's over. Everything is actually really good. So, I heard if you ever go to Japan and you have a bunch of clothes like you don't wear, you can sell them over there. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe in Miami. See y'all back in LA.